Previously on Cars Adventures, it's been revealed that both Snotrod and Kabuto survived that fateful explosion three years ago that was thought to have destroyed both of them. That's right, Snotrod is back, and he's back with the tuners, but Kabuto, their greatest enemy from the past, is back as well. Kabuto was hanging out in a mountain cave for years, planning to destroy the tuners. He had Snotrod captured alongside him, like he was holding Snotrod captive in that cave, and Kabuto wrote the tuners a fake letter under the name K2, telling them that Snotrod was alive to trick them into going there. Once the tuners got there, Kabuto's plan was to defeat them once and for all, but they survived his attack, found Snotrod, and broke out of the cave without Kabuto noticing. <laughs> So then Kayandi entered into Takeshi's game show. And, and did she win? Well, that's still kind of up for debate. <laughs> and that's it. That's where the story ends. Wow. So much has happened since... Since you guys last saw me. It's, it's so much, but, you know, all these things that have changed, I think most of them have really changed for the better. You guys reforming, and Jackson reforming, and crews reforming, man, so much reforming. Yeah, yeah, I think things have definitely gotten better. Yeah, so when do we go back to America? Flight leaves tomorrow morning. Oh, okay, huh, soon, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we were thinking, Snotrod, since the flight leaves tomorrow, um, DJ, Boost, and I, we're gonna go out for a drive and just kind of Look around Tokyo one last time before we go. Want to come with? I, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'd love to, but I'm really exhausted. Maybe early in the morning tomorrow before the flight leaves? Are you sure, Snotrod? Yeah, I kind of want to stay here, guys. I, I'm just so tired from you know driving so fast in the cave. Why are you tired, man? That really had no effect on us. Well, you guys haven't been trapped in a cave for almost three years. I'm exhausted. I'm not used to doing all that action-y stuff you guys are good at. Achoo! Oh, well, okay, Snotrod. If you want to stay here and rest, that's fine, but, uh, yeah, maybe we could go for another drive before we leave tomorrow morning. You'll be well rested then, right? Yeah. Sorry, guys. I just, whew, need to rest. Yeah, that's all right, man. See you soon, okay? Sleep well. Thank you. Ah, Man. Tokyo sure is beautiful at night, isn't it? Yeah, man. Totally. Shame Snotrod didn't want to see it, though. Eh, I get it. He was tired. Yeah, of course you get it, man. You slept in so long this morning that we had to push our flight back another day. Well, if I didn't sleep in this morning, then we wouldn't have found Snotrod. Yeah. Guess you have a point. Ha! See? Oversleeping does have its benefits, DJ. <laughs> man. Really does look nice, though. You know, as nice as it is here, I've got to say, I'm so excited to go back home. Yeah, it'll be nice to be back home. Hopefully our house is done. Love to see how far the progress on it is. Huh. Would you look at that? Well, that's a weird little lake. Yeah, uh, strangely bubbly for a lake. That looks kind of unnatural. <laughs> what do you think, someone accidentally dumped like a bubble machine at the bottom of this lake and now it's full of bubbles? How funny would that be? Imagine, right? You're like a kid at his birthday party, and you wanted a bubble machine, and then it gets dropped in a lake, and then the lake gets full of bubbles. What are you even saying? I don't know, man. I'm confused. This lake is full of bubbles, and it's weird. Let's just keep on going. Wait! You fools. You thought you could really get away with breaking snot right out without me noticing. Oh boy! It's Kabuto again. Hey pal, how you doing, huh? Why are you emerging from bubbles? I'd assume you were trying to make it look threatening, but it just looks kind of goofy. Silence, Devin. I make whatever entrance I want, and I make it look cool. Ooh, wow, look at that. Came back to life with a great sense of sarcasm. <laughs> Came back to life. I already told you, I was never dead. I was just smarter than all of you. <laughs> Look, 
<laughs> maybe, just maybe, you've gotten away with breaking snot right out. And you know what? Maybe I'll let you have that little victory. I wasn't going to do anything with him anyway. <laughs> so go on, run along, run back home with Snotrod, and have a grand old time with your long gone friend who's now back with you. <laughs> Just be warned, I'm watching. I'm always watching. And I will strike back. <laughs> and what I do next, will never see it coming. Uh, do you guys think he has, like, an escape hatch, or, like, how's he getting out of that bubble-filled pool? He just told us that, and all you're concerned about is how he exits the lake? Well, I don't know, man, it seems like a really elaborate setup, and, and kind of pointless, too. Like, why did he have to be in all those bubbles? I don't know, I thought it looked pretty intimidating. Yeah, of course you did, Wingo. Yeah, whatever. Look, guys. Kabuto, okay, he can try whatever he wants, but he can never defeat us. We will always be able to take him down. And now that we have Snotrod back, that's one more of us to help defeat him once and for all. We've defeated him several times in the past. Nothing he does can truly get rid of us, okay? Whatever he does, we'll overcome it. It'll all be fine. Now come on, guys. Let's go back to where the others are staying, and then tomorrow, let's head back home. Don't worry about what Kabuto's saying. He's just trying to mess with us. Nothing he does can ever truly get rid of us. Yeah, well said, Wingo, well said.